tell you. I'm your passenger today. Great to meet you. I spoke with Malia on the phone. You know her? She seems cool. Anyway, I'm glad I found you guys. I looked at booking a helicopter to fly this photo shoot, but the cost was astronomical. Is that all right? It's beautiful. I've always wanted to fly in something like this. Anyway, let's get going. I'm hoping we can get some shots of Mauna Kea Observatory with the sun coming up. You think we can get there in time? I'm excited to finally start getting some photos for this book. You know, I grew up here, but I never really saw the islands until I went away. When I was a kid, I couldn't wait to be get out in the world. The islands can seem like a very small place after a while. There's the observatory. Let's pass to the left of the observatory first. Then we'll come around to the other side. The shot I'm hoping to get is the observatory in the foreground with the sun rising behind it. The observatory is actually made up of several multinational facilities. The altitude and the remote location here in the middle of the Pacific Ocean make it an ideal location for ground-based astronomy. This is incredible. It's like another world up here. Looks like the timing for sunrise might just work out. Here we go. Very nice. Stay fairly low. I'd like to see the observatory as if it's perched on top of the world. That's it. Nice. Wow, look at that. Solid. Okay. This is awesome. Right on time for the sunrise as well. Fly a little bit lower. Maybe I'll call this book Hawaiian Peak. All right, here's a walk. There's a famous hang gliding area just across the ridge. I like to try that sometimes. Hey, let's fly along the north side of this ridge. I'd like to get some shots of Honolulu peeking over the ridge line.
Can you fly a little lower so I can get the top of the ridge in the image? Great, that'll work. Okay, let's hop over and shoot Diamond Head looking toward downtown. Beautiful. The city just unfolds while you're coming over that ridge. This should work great. We'll fly around Diamond Head and then head up Waikiki. We'll have to hop over Honolulu International to Pearl Harbor. Then I'm gonna need a little break. Hey, there's the lighthouse. Do you mind if I get a few shots of that? Closer the better. Okay, good stuff. On to Waikiki. Fly as low as you can. The lower we are to the water, the bigger the hotels look. The Waikiki neighborhood of Honolulu is probably one of the best known parts of this whole island. Especially its beach. There have been people here in Honolulu for a long time. There's evidence that the earliest settlement of Honolulu happened about 800 years ago by Polynesian explorers. The first Europeans sailed into Honolulu Harbor in 1794. Hawaii became an important stop on the trade route between North America and Asia. Of course, it was the airplane that really made this a vacation destination. There's more than 7.5 million visitors every year. Getting close to Honolulu International. How high do we need to fly to stay out of the way of other aircraft? Wow, this is a huge airport. Okay, we're coming up on Pearl Harbor. Don't worry, I received special permission from base administration to overfly the memorial. Let's not get too low and push our luck, though. Pearl Harbor has been a naval station since 1899, but it's best known for the attack on December 7th, 1941. As President Roosevelt said, a date which will live in infamy. The ship ahead of us is the USS Missouri. Have you ever taken the tour? Pearl is still an active naval station, as well as a National Historic Landmark. Just to the right of it is the USS Arizona Memorial. Let's circle this area so I can get some photos.
USS Bullfin submarine is on the other side of it. Let's head that way. I'm feeling better now. Thanks for taking it easy. All right, circle the bullfin so I can get some shots. There, the USS Utah's remain and its memorial. Okay, great. Just make a wide circle so I can get all the ships in the photo. Now that we're close, I'm really hungry. Hey look, I see gliders on the tarmac. That looks like fun. I should really take a glider flight someday. How cool is this? A runway right off the beach. Oh, do you always land like that? 